having a conversation with your spirit guides, angels, passed on loved ones, and ancestors is much like having a conversation with a real live individual standing in front of you. The only difference is that receiving messages and communication from your guides or spiritual team can come in a number of ways other than just physically speaking. Most of the conversation you'll have with your spiritual team will come through in the form of symbols and signs through different psychic or physical impressions. If you are the one starting the conversation with your spiritual team you will likely pray or think about what you would like to say to them and they will hear it whether it's been spoken out loud or just through your thoughts and intentions. This is the easiest part of spiritual communication. Receiving communication from your spirit team may not be quite as easy, especially if you are newer to the concept of spirit communication. So, how do you effectively receive communication from your spirit guides? Start by taking a look at your own personal conversation skills with the people you encounter in your everyday life. Are you an active listener? Do you allow the other person to feel heard and understood? How do you become more open to listening actively or making sure the other person communicating to you feels heard, understood, and appreciated? This is key to receiving communication from your spirit guides. It may seem like a silly concept, but don't you think your guides would have an easier time getting their messages across to us if we used better conversation etiquette? Three things to become aware of when trying to receive messages from your spirit guides. Availability and openness. How available are you when it comes to receiving messages? Are you willing to set aside some time each day to have a conversation where you will be able to actively listen without your ego influencing you to discredit or put up a wall to certain information that may pop up from your guides? Being open and available shows your guides that you respect them and their willingness to help guide you to reaching your highest potential or to support you through tough times. Show them that you are open and available by setting aside some time each day without distractions. Turn off the TV and your phone and put out the intention that you are ready to listen to what they would like to communicate to you. Receptivity, being available and open is kind of like the appetizer of this three-pieced communication meal. Being receptive is like the meat and potatoes. You can be open and available all you want, but are you letting the messages you receive have a chance to be understood? Often spirits will communicate through symbols. Dreams, read more about messages and symbols in dreams here, signs, songs, numbers, and more. When you are receiving these messages it is imperative to do your part and try to find the meaning to what your spirit guides are showing you, and why they are showing you those particular things. Keep a spirit communication journal and record your intuitive thoughts and feelings when you receive messages, symbols, and signs from your spiritual team. This will help you to become more efficient in accurate communication with your guides. Taking the time to decipher and make positive adjustments in your life because of the spiritual guidance you have been given will show your spiritual team that you want to proactively work with them. Appreciation, last but not least. Be appreciative of the messenger and the message. Be thankful for all the guidance, protection and support that each member of your spirit team has given you no matter how big or small. Even a simple thank you can have an impact. I hope this article helps you to effectively receive communication messages from your spirit guides, angels, passed on loved ones, and guides.